Okay, so uh, we've just received this beautiful supply of uh, coco bolo veneer. And if you watch our, our unveiling videos, our veneer videos, you'll know just uh, how much I love getting a new batch of veneer in and, uh, and just looking at what we can do with it for the first time. So um, coco bolo has, I think it's definitely been our most popular veneer over the last number of years. And uh, really it's down to the beauty of the wood. It's got such amazing details. Uh, it's the characteristics of the coloring, the knots in it, and it just makes some really special guitars. Uh, but it's been really hard to find recently, and uh, we were starting to come to the bottom of our, our stocks. Uh, so I know a few of you have been contacting us looking for Coco Bolo guitars recently, and we had a very limited number of options. So this has been fantastic to get this stuff. And, uh, and what is particularly nice about it is it's really high quality in terms of its flatness, and uh, also it's really wide. So, uh, so if you've been talking to us already about getting a, a guitar with a Coco Bolo veneer, you'll know that maybe a lot of them are only suitable for our smaller guitars, an X10. Uh, it's rare that we have something that's big enough for an X30, and almost unheard of to get something big enough for a harp guitar or a baller. So I'm really delighted that this is, uh, is big enough really for all our models. And, uh, and we have quite a variation of different pieces here, uh, different figures. So what I'm gonna do is just talk you through uh, a little bit about how we can cut them. And uh, for you uh, who don't really know exactly how we go about building our guitars and what this is all about, uh, we build all our guitars from carbon fiber. And to really add some extra beauty to our carbon fiber guitars, we put uh, a natural wood veneer on top. So as you'll see behind me, there's all these different drawers. Every one has a different species of veneer. Uh, some incredible, beautiful um, veneers that we use just to bring a really natural aesthetic beauty to our guitars. So, uh, so let's focus in on, um, on our Coco Bolo here. And uh, we can just have a little look at some of the characteristics of it. And what's really nice about uh, this particular Coco Bolo is, is the warmth of the color. So it's got a really rich uh, browns and almost like orange tinges to it. So it's really warm, really vibrant. But also the, the parts that I really like to see is, uh, is the knots. Uh, it's the extra character that's in it. So, you know, like this section here, some beautiful knots in it. Uh, the, the black um, veins that are running through it are entirely dense black, which is really beautiful. And uh, is a really nice characteristic when you put it with, say, a black uh, carbon back and sides. So um, yeah, some, some really interesting variations. So if we look at putting some of our templates on top, it's the best way to kind of visualize what a guitar might look like. So uh, if we can get in on this and, and have a look um, at what this might look like. So uh, if we look at this one, for instance, if we're cutting this section, I think it's really nice just how all these knots are down in this area. Uh, we would use this center hardwood, framing nicely around the neck. And we'd be cutting, you can see just how uneven it is. So we'd be cutting this into a straight line to make the book match and, uh, and tidying all that up. Um, if we go a little bit further on up, there's a nice section here where it narrows in on the waist. And uh, you've got the, this heavy black lines coming up here uh, around the neck. And again, the center heartwood. Um, or even on up here, you know, it's a little bit, uh, simpler form, you know, you've got more of the straight lines and grain going on and uh, it doesn't have the, the big patterns, but just a more uniform kind of feel right across. A couple of nice little details here, these little knots in the center. Um, but what's really cool with the veneer is just seeing all the different ways that you can cut it. So we can take that piece like that, but we can also flip it over and book match it the opposite way around. And, uh, and then get, that gives you a whole other set of options. You know, so out of the same piece of veneer, you've got a really different look. So maybe taking it in with a much smaller amount of hardwood or even no hardwood at all. Uh, we could have that running away and coming into like, like this maybe, be quite nice. Um, you know, it's just coming down with a little sliver running out in the bottom. Uh, this is a really nice section here in the center. 
Oh, those couple of little knots. So, uh, so you get the idea, it's just a lot of different variations of how we can cut it. And uh, because this is so wide, we also have the option of, uh, of moving the book match further over, you know, so we could, we could take it out, take the hardwood out of it altogether, just go with the dark wood uh, over the entire guitar. So we're gonna select these. We, we spend a significant amount of time uh, just studying every piece of veneer, trying to find the best way that we can cut them. And, uh, and just getting the, the nicest out of uh, out of every set. So that's our first piece. Um, if we look at this one, let's uh, grab a couple of those over here. Some really nice characteristics in this coca bowl. And again, it's only whenever we take them uh, and cut them that you really can kind of see all the detail. Um, we'll be photographing all these, cataloging them, and you'll be able to see them online um, or by emailing us. If you contact the guys in sales, they can, they can send you through some of the details. So if we just move this right the way along up here, it just gives you an idea of many different variations. You know, this section here, really interesting with the knots and the way it kind of comes in and out there. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like a kaleidoscope as you move it. You know, so it's, while we're using pieces that are very similar, no two guitars are the same. Every one is, is a little bit different. And, uh, and that's what makes it interesting when you're working with this. So uh, it's a really nice piece there. It's almost like, uh, like two heads coming up here. Uh, I mean, if you just look at that piece in its entirety, it uh, just got so much detail and character. So uh, I can really imagine cutting some beautiful guitars out of that. And again, that can be, uh, can be book, book, book matched the opposite way around for something totally different. So I think this is a really nice characteristic here. So it'll be a, a really nice guitar with these two eyes down here. Um, really like the lighter colors. The sort of finer black lines going up. Um, warmer colors to the sides. And uh, let me see what else catches my eye here. Something like, uh, like this piece. So whenever we're cutting these, a lot of times what we'll be looking at is trying to find things that's in keeping with the shape of the guitar. So uh, finding lines that'll maybe like frame the, the neck, um, finding contours that might match the shape of the body. You know, so like here, I'd probably position it about here. So you're kind of getting the shapes running with the body of the guitar. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's really using what nature has given us and, and finding the best way to be creative with it. So, uh, so that's that. And then we've got another section right here. Um, some smaller pieces, but uh, I don't think there's any less options of how we can cut it. You know, this one piece, we can probably make eight different possible combinations. Um, so uh, it's really nice. And it's a little bit simpler in design, but got some these really nice lateral lines that are running down. And uh, I think that really is nice whenever you come down along the side of the neck and along the strings. Um, another way we can cut that if we go the opposite way. And it brings a bit more detail into it. So you can see it just looks like an entirely different piece when you go like that. So, uh, so that's a little bit of an insight into to how we choose veneers. And the other thing that we do is uh, sometimes we'll, we'll take a veneer and we'll get a myrrh. And uh, what we'll do is we'll set that up on a piece of veneer. And then that can kind of give us different ideas of how we might want to cut it. So uh, you can see just how many variations you can get just by moving it along. Um, you know, it gives you that kaleidoscope effect. So that really allows us to see, say if we want to do like a V pattern, uh, you know, widen it out 
and um, without actually cutting the veneer we can get a lot of different patterns. So a little bit harder for us to photograph and to send to you to let you see it, but, uh, but nonetheless it's a really useful creative tool. So I hope that uh, gives you a bit of an idea of the possibilities of this Coco Bolo. Um, thanks for watching it, uh, hopefully it's given you some creative ideas and uh, keep an eye out for some of these guitars going online. We're gonna be building some stock for this very soon uh, and it's gonna be available to order. So uh, if you're interested in ordering this, we're gonna get this cataloged. Contact the guys in sales, contact Kevin and Chloe and, uh, and they'll be able to send you a bank of images uh, of all the different combinations on how we can cut this. So, uh, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.